Hey family, hope everybody's doing well. First time, first video we're going to be doing here on Joseph Babaifa. Very excited about beginning to come out with content because, you know, um, that's really the driving force of what we do. You know, we're going to be putting a bunch of videos out, a lot of education, a lot of really good information. So, um, you know, this is where it's all going to start off. But my biggest... Um, my biggest goal here, um, as we begin, kind of changed when I first started, you know, getting the page up and running and really involving myself in the internet aspect of our religion. And um, I didn't expect to do this in the beginning, but I saw that this was a great way to start off, being that, you know, what starts off well, continues well. So, you know, this is how I really wanted to start off the page, and it ultimately became the idea for the first video. So, the inspiration for this was... As I started getting the page together, I started involving myself in more groups. Um, and I was invited to a couple groups, a couple people would ask me questions, etc. And um, there was one post in particular that I saw that uh, really motivated me to make this video, um, the first one on our page. Um, it was a young man, um, he had a question about Orumila, and he was asking whether Orumila was an Orisha or an Egun. Ego means spirit, right? So, um, I put my two cents in. Uh, I said Orumila was an Orisha, um, at least in his manifestation where he was called Orumila. And um, other people had different things to say. And, you know, everybody's putting their points and their uh, information. And it began as a really good question and a really good, I guess you could say, debate. But um, very shortly afterwards, I noticed that a, uh, a lot of people started basically criticizing the person for asking that question. Uh, the guy, you know, they, they proceeded to call him stupid. They proceeded to call him, uh, you know, a bunch of names and, and basically make fun of him. And as I'm sitting here, you know, watching this and looking at it, you know, develop on my screen, I couldn't believe it because I quickly realized, like, they're bullying the guy. And, uh, you know, it's crazy that this internet in general, or the internet in general, um, how easily that can develop. And what was even more shocking to me was that it was happening within our religion and within a religious forum that had to do with us, you know, and uh, among so many adults, you know, because everybody here was an adult. When I say young man, I mean, you know, someone that's, you know, 20 something kind of like me. So, you know, when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is really a problem here. And I had kind of come across it, um, or came across it in my practice within these past couple of years, but it never became more evident than when I saw it online. It's a really sad situation because what what's going to happen now is the guy who was belittled, you know, basically publicly in front of everyone, um, is now going to want to know nothing about this faith. Not because of the faith, but because of the practitioners or the people who commented on his post, who more than likely don't know more than him. And, um, you know, it's going to have a really negative effect on us because we probably just lost a Bawala or a Oriade or a pa amazing Palero. And he's never going to want to learn anything about this again, you know. And we really don't know who's commenting in these forums because nowadays anybody can get behind a computer screen or a camera and, uh, you know, act like, you know, they know this or they're this. And we really don't know who they are. So it's sad at the idea that someone who possibly knows less than the person asking the question is causing that same person to not practice this anymore because he basically belittled them. So bullying is real. Um, even in this, you know, we have to stop Ifa bullying. Uh, you know, it's a new term that, that's really coming out now and that I'm really bringing to the forefront is because bullying is even affecting us. And it, it's always affected us because you're always going to see that. People who know little, they have this tendency of making themselves feel larger by making others or trying to make others feel smaller. And, uh, this is a really dangerous thing because, um, you know, as we look from an internet standpoint, you know, how, how many, you know, young children of, or teenagers, you know, have committed suicide because of this, or, you know, have become depressed over this depression, suicide, you know, are all, you know, side effects of bullying. And no matter what, you know, spectrum or aspect you really dedicate yourself to. So, you know, it's real and it really caught me by surprise. And one thing I wanted to do with this video was just talk about 
how dangerous doing something like that is because Ifa is a religion that's a little bit different from everybody else's. You know, we come in contact with a bunch of different people. Um, not everybody is from the same walk of life as far as initiates go. You know, there's there's practitioners from all over the place and from a bunch of different social spectrums. So I, I just wanted to talk about a story that could really um, show people how dangerous you know, bullying in any aspect is, but especially with any fa. So recently I was at a, uh, any fa ceremony in, uh, in Texas and, um, you know, I was very excited. It was like the third or fourth time I've been out there and, um, it was with a new group of guys. So it's always nice to meet new people and just to travel in general. And Ifa is so great. It, it's taken me so many places in such a short amount of time. It was an exciting experience, right? So when I got to the Ifa, I had a I had a couple, you know, responsibilities, you know, as far as um, you know, the coordination or directing of the ceremony went, right? So um I had a lot on my plate, right? Things I was prepared for, a couple things I was doing for the first time, but um I felt prepared enough and we were around a good enough group of people where I felt comfortable to be able to do what I was basically uh hired to do, right? Or sought out to do. So there was this gentleman, I won't say his name obviously, but there was this gentleman who was assisting me. Um, to be able to get through my functions, you know, he was basically always by my side, um, you know, and really nice guy, older guy, you know, 40s, um, recently initiated in Ifa, didn't know too much about Ifa due to his recent initiation, but all in all, a really nice guy, and um, was basically helping me, like, if, you know, I needed some water, or if I needed this, or hey, can you hold this for me, and just a very, uh, very, very nice man. So, you know, after, you know, things had calmed down a little bit and we had some downtime, you know, there's breaks periodically throughout the ceremony, you know, because it's a lot of work. So when I'm sitting down with this gentleman, you know, I basically, I asked him, I said, you know, how's your experience been? How has your journey been? You know, this is a little bit about me, you know, so you can know a little bit about me. And, uh, you know, what's yours been like? And he's like, you know, I've had Ifa done for a set amount of time. You know, I've learned what I've been able to do. You know, I'm a little bit older. You know, it uh, it costs me um, a bit more to memorize things. But, you know, I'm, I'm dedicated. I'm learning at my own pace. And I said, that's a beautiful thing, you know, because we can't compare ourselves to anybody but ourselves, right? So, you know, I asked him, um, you know, has he participated in other Ifa ceremonies? You know, what's the frequency of, uh, you know, religious work like out here? And he, um, he, he became a little solemn at that point, I noticed, and he started telling me about a story where he was at another Ifa in a nearby area. And, you know, at that point, which was before the Ifa we were working at, he had even less time of Ifa, so he knew a little bit less. So he was at the ceremony, and the person who was directing the Ifa um, basically asked him to fulfill a task or to do something. And, um, you know, this guy's an older guy, you know, he's not trying to prove anything. He was very honest with the guy. He said, I don't know how to do that. You know, my, my level of, you know, knowledge within this doesn't allow me to do that to the best of my ability and the quality I want to be able to do it at. And rather than being applauded for his honesty, you know, he was belittled, you know, they basically embarrassed him or made fun of him. You know, he's a 40 year old man, and, you know, in, in this room, it's only men. So, you know, you, you're talking about being basically embarrassed or made fun of in front of a bunch of other grown men. So the guy basically told me at that moment he realized what was going on and he basically, uh, you know, picked up his things and left. He didn't say anything to anybody and he just left. And I was kind of shocked. I said, man, you know, I, I really applaud you and I admire you because I don't know how I would have reacted to somebody, you know, making fun of me in front of everybody, whether I know something or nothing. And he was like, you know, you know what the problem is, Joseph, or what the, the fact is, is that, you know, um, Ifa has changed me, you know, he was telling me at that point that, you know, where he was from, this was a Mexican gentleman, he was from a city known as Reynosa, um, for those who know of Reynosa, know that it's a very, um, very dangerous area, you know, if you've ever seen the movie Sicario, or any of these things, you know, movies like that are really reminiscent of what Reynosa is, you know, he was talking about, um, some aspects of his life before Ifa and how, you know, when he was a younger man and lived in this area, he was a very different personality, um, you know, and that, you know, where he's from, people die on a daily basis, you know, and, uh, you know, as I'm hearing this and I'm looking at this guy, you would never expect that the most humble, gentle person, uh, that you could ever encounter. And he's from one of the worst parts of Mexico, you know, 
And, uh, you know, I was just shocked. And he was basically telling me, you know, like I said, he has changed me. And maybe if, you know, I was 15, 20 years younger and I was still living where I was from, things might not have, you know, transpired the same way. And it's really, it brings a chill over you. And it's not to scare anybody, but this is the big reason why we have to respect everyone. Because you really don't know who you're interacting with anyway, regardless of Ifa. And Ifa has a bunch of different, you know character types and the same thing with santo you know the most important thing we could do here is respect people because it doesn't matter whether you know one more song than somebody it doesn't matter whether you know how to throw coco or i know how to direct a ceremony it doesn't matter about any of those things what matters is respect you know we're, we're all brothers here and we're all family here and it's kind of um crazy to even be saying that you know this has to be reiterated because you know we don't know who we're interacting with. So you, you don't know how people are going to react to the way you treat them. So it's better to just, you know, maintain a very monotone um, conduct until you really get to know people. So I really thought this was important and, and a really great first video because I think it talks about the severity of basically religious bullying, especially in this faith where, you know, the big thing is, I know more than you, you know more or less than me, or less or more, et cetera, et cetera. We see this on a daily basis on Facebook and all the other, you know, social mediums where people are just ripping on each other, like, you know, trying to make the other person look bad. And, and the sad thing is, the majority of it is caused because of money. What they're trying to do is take clientele away from somebody or take a godchild away. And, you know, it's all just very immature. So the reason I wanted this to be the first post on my page was because, you know, bullying, belittling, anything like that is not going to be tolerated. And you have my word that it's never going to come from me either. Um, and just to let people know the severity of that and what could come from it. You know, you never know how somebody's going to react, like I said. And you don't know how seriously someone takes Ifa. You know, Ifa for some people is all they have or all they want. You know, when you have the, uh, the audacity to belittle somebody, you know, in front of a group of people when they really are making an effort to do something they've spent time studying to do, I don't think there's anything, uh, anything worse than that. You know, there, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing interesting or positive about that. So, you know, anyone who dedicates themselves to do that, they really need to analyze themselves and, uh, you know, really work out those frustrations that they have. So I just wanted to get started off like that, guys. I'm really excited about the page. Um, it's going to be such a blessing just to be able to interact with so many people. Um, I've had the chance to interact with so many people thus far, you know, hundreds of people that have liked the page up until this point, great conversations I've had, and just seeing how huge this world is um, as far as Ifa goes, you know, as I'm beginning my journey to a certain degree. So I, I just want to say thank you for your time, um, you know, just understand the message, stop Ifa bullying, and um, I'm just very excited and I'm very thankful, and um, we're going to go ahead and get started, all right, so thanks again, um, and things are going to be great, so um, can't wait, thank you.